Hey everybody, I hope everybody's having a blessed day. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Alright, so I got another little Amazon pickup for you. Now these are a, um, the part number for these is FH5360. Uh, uh, the, the name of the manufacturer, or the, the seller on Amazon is where I got it from. It's called Fernholt. It's a 4-in-1 impact drill bit extension set. So what it is, is it does come with these... Uh, these three little uh, quarter inch chuck uh, bit adapters. Now these are all impact rated as well. Uh, so I had my uh, had my impact driver here and has quarter inch chuck in it. And I just wanted to get some uh, wanted to get some impact rated uh, pieces that I could hook my sockets to. I have some regular ones that are just straights with these uh, different sizes. You got your uh, quarter inch, your three eighths, and your uh, your half inch chuck. So I figured I'd just get some that actually swivel. These do swivel 360 degrees. Like I said, they are impact graded. And um, but this set also comes with this uh, this shank right here or uh, chuck here. Now this is a uh, 105 degree angle. That's the angle on it here. But it's another. It's a quarter bit or quarter quarter inch driver bit. You could put your quarter inch bits in here as well, or you could couple that with one of these. With sockets on it. Uh, now I got this. I thought it would be pretty cool. You got a tight spot to get into. Like you say you have a couple blocks of wood. Or whatever piece of metal. And you can't really get in there. I figured I would go ahead and just give this thing a try. I mean this uh, set was not too too pricey. It was $11.99. Plus I guess some, some fees. And some uh, other stuff. Uh, tax and all that stuff on, on Amazon. Uh, also these only come with a 30 day warranty. So, um, like I said, they're not, like I said, they're not super pricey. So, you know, if you break them, you break them. Uh, with that being said, this piece here though, it does, uh, have, uh, come with, uh, three ball bearings inside of it. So I guess it's better than having just one. It's got three. So I give you a little bit of extra support. They are sealed. And as you can see, it's, uh, it's all steel construction. There's not a plastic or a whatever it is, not a plastic, but you know, for the covering for the uh, inside there for the your, your bearings, it's not a plastic covering ever that it's all steel construction that as well. Um, now this piece down here, the driver piece, this is carbon steel, and then the head, it's not plastic, it's uh, made out of zinc as well. And as you can see here, I don't know if you guys can see down in there, but it is a, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a uh, retaining ring down in there. It's not a snap ring, just a. Uh, just a, a metal retaining ring out in there, and that's how you would pop this out to uh, get that out. Maybe we'll go ahead and try to pop that out. And also, there's one on this side as well. Just a metal uh, retaining ring in there that holds this all together. Uh, now, this one here, um, these are spring-loaded ball bearings in here as well. These are uh, just inserted in there. These are chrome vanadium, I guess the tops. I don't know if the bottom is carbon steel like this one. But the uh, tops of these are chrome vanadium. And as you can see, they are printed on them as well. Um, and also, these all have a uh, electroplating uh, for rust protection. So that you have that going for it as well. But I'm going to go ahead and we'll go ahead and get some uh, pliers or uh, some picks and see if I can pop these out. And we'll see if we can get at least take a little, little look inside this thing uh, right here, this angled bit of that. All right, so I tried a couple different things here, uh, different picks and this and that, but uh, it's just scoring up the inside of this. That uh, retaining ring, it's inside there. It's uh, it's in there really tight. I'm basically just uh, messing the coating up on this. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave this alone. Uh, I was kind of hoping I could get it apart pretty easy, but uh, yeah, and it's just I'm just messing the coating up. But yeah, guys, you can use this on anything. You can, uh, like I said, I got this for the impact driver, but you could use this on a regular drill bit. You could even use it on a, uh, you know, a, a screwdriver that, that takes the, uh, the bit, the bit chucks in it as well. So you, these can be used just for a multitude of uh, a couple different, uh, different ways. But uh, just have it hooked up to here, and we'll just go ahead and hit this. Is what you can hear it here. Just, uh, like I said, this would be good if you got, you know, you're in, in, in between a wall or something and you can't get it out. Um, you may be able to even use this to do some light impacting on some really small fasteners where it's not gonna, 
it's not going to mess it mess it up or whatnot but uh yeah i basically just got i really just wanted these but uh i saw that it came with this so i figured i'd get one of these i don't own one of these yet i know dewalt uh dewalt makes a nice one or milwaukee makes a really nice uh, one of these uh angled adapters like this but uh that's it guys just real quick uh you know update for you guys on some of the newer stuff that i picked up got a bunch of new stuff like i said just haven't uh haven't had time to do it but that's it guys i just wanted to say thank you god bless you guys and just have a great evening